uh, distance between lines or planes. Uh, first, we talk about the distance between lines. If two lines, they are not intersect uh, on space. Uh, suppose the point uh, R and point S are the two points that that is uh, closest that clo that is closest uh, of, uh, closest point of these two lines. Uh, we know that the from R to uh, from and this is line one, we call the line one and this line two. From R to line two, uh, the distance that is draw the line segment that perpendicular to line two. And uh, S to the L1 is, uh, is also perpendicular. That means the RS, the line segment RS is parallel to the uh, if we call this as uh, this is the direction field the direction vector of uh, line one is the direction vector of v two uh, of line two. So the uh, line segment R S is parallel to the uh, to the cross product of v one and v two. Um, but we don't know uh, what R S uh, where is where where the R S located. But maybe we know the there's uh, there's uh, P naught X naught Y naught Z naught on the L L one and uh, and the P X Y Z on the L two. We draw a vector p uh, p not p. Then we uh, we know that the R S is p not and p uh, project to the R to the R S or to the V one uh, cross product V two. Because we know that p uh, uh, p not to the uh, distance from p not to the l two is not the same is not the same as r s the distance and uh, the distance of r s and uh, by this picture we can know that the distance between two lines that is the uh, projection. Oh, P not P to the V1 cross V2 uh, and uh, the, the length. <coughs> by, the, uh, by the definition of projection, we know that as P not P dot V1 cross V2 and uh, that is the length of V1 cross V2 and take the absolute value of the uh, dot product. That's the distance uh, between lines. Okay, uh, that's the formula. Then we can uh, use example. Uh, to use this to use this formula formula find the distance between lines the L1 the L1 write as a symmetric equation L1 should be 
should be x minus 1 over 1 equals y minus 1 over 6 equals z over 2 and L2 that is uh, x minus 1 over 2 equals y minus 5 over 15 equals z plus 2 over 6. From, from the equation of these two lines, we know that v1 equals 1, 6, 2 and v2 equals 2, 15 and 6 and uh, p0 on the line 1 is 1, 1, 0 and p is 1, 5 and negative 2 by the, by the uh, equation of symmetry, uh, by the symmetry is the equation of the lines and the p not p that is 1, 5, negative 2 minus 1, 1, 0 that is uh, 0, 4, negative 2 and uh, v1 cross v2 that is i, j, k and uh, v1 is 1, 6, 2 v2 is 2, 15, 6 equals i that's 6, 2, 15, 6 minus j that's 1, 2, 2, 6 plus k that is 1, 6, 2, 15. The so i is uh, thir 36 minus 30, that is 6. And j is 6 minus 4, that is uh, 6 minus 4, that is 2. And there is negative, so that's 2 negative, oh, minus 2 j. And k is 15 minus uh, 12, that is 3. So that is 6, negative 2, and 3. That's the cross product of v1 and v2. By the formula, the distance is p not p dot v1 cross v2 cross v2 and take the absolute value and the v1 cross v2 the length of the cross product and the cross uh, the dot product of v uh, of p not p that is uh, 0 times 6 plus 4 times negative 2 uh, plus negative 2 times 3 and then takes the absolute value and uh, the length of uh, v1 cross v2 that is uh, 36 plus uh, 36 plus 4 plus line the denominator is 7 and the denominator is negative 8 and plus negative negative 6 that is 14 so the distance is 2 that's the distance between lines we project uh, we uh, take the vector project of p not p to uh, uh, on the uh, cross product of v1 and v2 the second problem is the distance distance between two parallel planes because if if two planes uh, if two planes are not parallel then 
and they must intersect each, each other. So uh, we only consider the two parallel planes, the distance uh, between two parallel planes. If two parallel planes, the equation of sigma 1 as a x plus b y plus c z equals d1 and uh, the sigma 2 is a x plus b y plus c z equals d2 uh, because there are two uh, these two planes are parallel so we uh, uh, we can write them and uh, write you use the same uh, the same normal vector a b c if they are lots lot same we can change to the land to the same uh, if sigma one is a one x plus a uh, plus b one y plus c z c one z equals d one and uh, sigma two that is a two x plus b2 y plus c2 z equals d2 and we maybe use the tilt here and because because a2 b2 and c2 uh, is lambda a1 b1 c1 because they are parallel so we can change we can change this the equation of the second uh, equation to be sigma 2 that is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 z equals uh, uh, d2 over lambda we use this as a, a new d2 We can change the the, the second the, the equation of a second plane to uh, to be the uh, have the, sa the same uh, left hand side. If they have uh, if they have the same left hand side, then the distance uh, is uh, the distance between these two planes are very simple. Uh, we recall sigma two. That's sigma one. We recall that point uh, distance from point. Distance from point to plane. That is uh, d equals a x plus b y plus c z minus d over square root a square plus b square plus c square. Then, um, if uh, there's a point on the sigma one, uh, we check the Take the distance from from p to the uh, to the sigma two. That's ac actually for, for from any point to the because these two uh, planes are parallel, so we can take any point to, on the sigma one and uh, 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 compute the distance from this point to the second plane. So uh, if p uh, equals x y z on sigma one. So the distance is a x plus uh, a compute p and the distance. Uh, from p to sigma 2. So the distance is ax plus by plus cz minus d2. 
uh, and take the absolute value. And this is the square root a square plus uh, b square plus c z because the p is on the first plane, it satisfies the, fir uh, the first equation, satisfies this equation, satisfies this equation. So ax plus by plus cz, that is d1, and that's d1 minus d2, and uh, over square root a square plus b square plus c square. If we use this, uh, you use this formula, uh, we have to uh, write the equation, high, write the equations, high, uh, write the equation as the same left hand side. Then the, the distance is, uh, the formula of the, di of the distance is very simple. We take, uh, we look at uh, example. Find the distance between par parallel planes. That is 10x minus 2y minus 2z, or plus 2y minus 2z equals 5, and x plus y, or 5x plus y minus z equals 1. So here the uh, first plane is 10x plus 2y minus 2z equals 5. And which uh, the sigma 2, that is 5x plus y minus z equals 1. Uh, the, second, this, the second equation is uh, simplest. And uh, we can change the first uh, the the equation of first plane uh, by divide both sides by two. So the first plane can uh, the equation of first plane can be write as five x plus y minus c equals five over two, and the second one uh, keep unchanged equals one. So d1 equals 5 over 2, and d2 equals 1. Uh, now the, the, and the equation of these two planes have the same left-hand side, so we can use the uh, formula of the distance. So the distance that is d1 minus d2 over square root a square plus b square plus c square. That's d1 over uh, minus d2, that's 3 over 2, or 5 over 2 minus 1 takes the absolute value. And square root, the a is uh, 5, so that is 25 plus 1 plus 1. That, that is 3 over 2 divided by square root 27. The 27, that is 3 times square root 3. And then the long letter is 3 over 2. We cancel the 3, that is 1 over 2 times square root of 3. That's the distance between parallel planes. If we uh, use the same long vector or uh, write the equation as same left hand side, then the, uh, the distance is uh, very easy to compute.